Hello everyone, welcome to lecture number two of number theory. In today's class, we'll be starting with the basic questions of model arithmetic, that is with the congruence. So in this class, we'll be using the properties which we have learned in lecture one, that is introductory lecture of number theory. We're going to use all the properties which we have learned in the last lecture. So let's start with the first question. The first question is find the reminder when 9, 9 raised to power 99 is divided by 8. So let's start with this question. Now the question is 9 raised to power 99 is divided by 8. So let's say x is the reminder and I'm going to write this as x is congruent to in congruent format x is congruent to 9 raised to power 99 modulo 8. Now what's the meaning of this equation? That means it tells us if we divide 9 raised to power 99 by 8 then x will be the reminder. Now here I'm going to write I'm going to use the property fifth property here. Previously I told you if a is congruent to b modulo m that means if I divide a by m the reminder will be b then here I can write this as a raised to power k will be congruent to b raised to power k modulo m if this is true here k is greater than or equal to 1. So same thing I'm going to use here that is I can, I'm going to write this as 9 is congruent to 1 and modulo 8. Now if this is true because when we divide 9 by 8 then the reminder will be always 1. So I can say that 9 raised to power 99 if I raise both raised to power 99 it will be equal to or you can say 9 raised to power 99 it will be congruent to 1 raised to power 99 modulo 8. Similarly I can replace this with x is congruent to 1 raised to power 99 modulo 8. Now in the next question when you want to calculate the reminder you are going to divide 9 not the power but the 9 with the base with 8 and as it is you are going to replace the reminder because this theorem. Now our final answer will be x is congruent to 1 raised to power 99 is 1 mod 8. So our reminder will be always 1. So that will be our answer. Now what if if I change the number 8 by any other number let's say 7. So what will be the reminder? So let's check. Now in the previous question we were dividing by 8. Now in this question we are going to divide by 7 and we'll see what will be the reminder when we are going to divide 9 raised to power 99 is divided by 7 and the reminder will be equal to. So let's say x is my reminder and I can write this as x is congruent to 9 raised to power 99 modulo 7. Now this means when you divide 9 raised to power 99 by 7 the reminder will be x. So previously I have used one theorem again I am going to use the same thing. For example if you divide 9 by 7 then the reminder will be I can directly write here 2 okay 9 is because 9 is congruent to 2 mod 7 now if you want the power 99 you can use the theorem that is property 5 which I have discussed in lecture 1 that is 9 raised to power 99 will be congruent to 2 raised to power 99 mod 7 so I'll be using the same thing and I told you a trick you can check the base and divide the base by 7 so you'll get this as x is congruent to 2 raised to power 99 mod 7. Now there is a problem because right now the base is 2 and that is less than 7. So I cannot divide this by 7. So I can do one thing here is I can make the base greater than 7 by one way that is I can write this as 2 raised to power 3 whole raised to power 33 I can write this mod 7. And one benefit I'll get out of it that is if I open this I'll get this as x is congruent to 2 raised to power 3 is 8 and I'll get whole raised to power 33 mod 7. Now since this number is greater than eight, 7 I can divide it and I can write the reminder here that is x will be congruent to 1 raised to power 33 mod 7. Now final answer will be x is congruent to 1 mod 7. That means when we divide 9 raised to power 99 by 7 then the reminder will be 1. Now I'll do one more thing I'm going to change this by 6 and I'll see what will be the reminder. So you can take this as a challenge. Feel free to pause the video and try this by taking 6. Next I'll be solving the next slide. I'm going to solving by, I'll be solving this by dividing by 6. 9 raised to power 99 dividing by 6. Now here I've done a modification that is earlier we have divided this 9 raised to power 99 by 7 and we have calculated the remainder. Now this time you have to divide by 6 and you have to calculate the remainder. Please feel free to pause the video and try this question. Now I'm going to write this as x is congruent to 9 raised to power 99 mod 6. Now again I'm going to divide by 6 and I can write this as x is congruent to 3 raised to power 99 
because when you divide 9 by 6 in the reminder I can directly write here the trick I told you mod 6 now since 3 is less than 6 I have to make 3 raised to power something greater than this base I have to make greater than 6 so that again I can divide and I can reduce this number as you can see this number is reducing okay and this is decreasing so x is congruent to I can write this as the nearest I can make this as uh, you can take this as 3 raised to power 3 and then whole raised to power 99 I can take 3 square but the power is not odd okay so I can write this as 3 raised to power 3 whole raised to power you can say 33 mod 6 now 3 raised to power 3 is I can write this as x is congruent to 27 raised to power 33 mod 6 now right now 27 is bigger than 6 I guess I can divide the nearest is again I can write to nearest is 24 so reminder will be 3 so x is congruent to 3 raised to power 33 mod 6 as you can see this number is continuously decreasing now again I'll make this as 27 and I can write this as x is congruent to 3 raised to power I can write 3 whole raised to power 11 mod 6 now again I can write this as x is congruent to 3 is to power 3 is 27 and 27 divided by 6 will give you 3 again. So we'll get this as 3 raised to power 11 mod 6. Now after this we'll do one thing. We'll break this into two parts. Okay. Or you can break this into three parts. It's your wish. Okay. So you can say this as uh, 3 raised to power 3. You can write this as 3 raised to power 3. Whole raised to power 3. That is 3 raised to power 9. And the remaining power is you can say 3 raised to power 2. So total power in the end will be you can say 11 mod 6 now I know that x is congruent to we if it is written 27 I can immediately divide and I can write this as 3 raised to power 3 again and 3 square here mod 6 now again I can divide 3 raised to power 3 and I can write this as x is congruent to 3 multiplied by 3 square mod 6 now again I got x is congruent to 3 cube again 27 mod 6 now again I can write this as x is congruent to 3 mod 6 as you can see this number is continuously decreasing and our final answer is the reminder is 3 further I cannot decrease this because this number is less than 6 so that that's the final answer now I'll do one more thing here instead of taking 6 earlier I have taken a single digit now let's change it by 10 I'm going to take a two digit number what will happen okay and how are you going to tackle this problem if I'm going to take a two digit number so feel free to pause the video and try with 10 in the next slide I'll be solving that now I hope all of you got the answers okay if you didn't get the answer then no problem no worries I'm going to explain the logic here so the question is if 9 is to power 99 is divided by the two digit number that is 10 so let's say x is the reminder and x is congruent to 9 is to power 99 mod 10 now this concept I'll be using in the next lecture and it's very important so please pay attention if I write 9 is congruent to let's say x some value mod if I write 10 okay so if I write 9 is congruent to let's say if, if I if I want to divide 9 by 10 I cannot divide because this 9 is less than 10 okay I cannot divide it but I can write this as minus 1 and there is no harm in it the reason is because you can take this number on the other side if you take this on the other side then you'll get this as 9 plus 1 is congruent to 0 mod 10 now this is actually this number is 10 is congruent to 0 mod 10 and this will make sense because when you divide 10 by 10 the reminder will be 0 so yes we can do this here now I'll coming to the back coming back to the original question x is congruent to I can write this as minus 1 you can divide this number as I told you you can use the same thing the property 5 here 9 raised to power 99 will be congruent to minus 1 raised to power 99 so instead of 9 I'm going to replace this as minus 1 here and whole is to power 99 mod 10 and this will give us answer very quickly so x is congruent to here minus 1 is to power odd is minus 1 mod 10 now reminder cannot be negative we know that how are you going to tackle this you're going to add 10 here immediately so we'll get this as x is congruent to minus 1 plus 10 that is 9 is congruent to 10 so our answer is the reminder is 9 and that will be all for lecture.